where space is at a premium. Wind turbines are a better option. A report by the International Energy Agency has also found that a growth of wind power generation was the highest among all renewable sectors in 2021. But people want those giant blades to be smaller, shorter, and quieter. Hello. Hello. How are you? Very Welcome. good to meet you. In Madrid, our team met David Yaniz, whose solution is to just get rid of them. In fact, we have something like a one blade, it's a hollow tube, a vertical mast. We oscillate with the wind, with the resonant. When two frequencies, the vortexes and the natural frequencies of the structure start to move, uh, we have to, a way to collect energy from the wind, to transmit energy from the fluid to the structure. November 1940. The Tacoma Narrows Bridge disaster in the U.S. taught people a lesson about a destructive phenomenon called vortex-induced oscillation. Ever since, engineers have tried their best to avoid that force of nature. Until they found they could turn it to their advantage. The wind comes in this direction. The wind produces a physical phenomena here in which the pressure is high and low in both sizes alternatively. So at the end, vortices are produced. Prototypes are tested in this wind tunnel. Nobody has investigated how to enhance this, this process or how to absorb the um, much amounts of energy from, from the wind from this way. The key to harnessing wind power in such a rare way is the alternator inside. Unlike alternators in traditional wind turbines, which include a magnet and copper wire coil, the vortex alternator is driven by just a carbon fiber rod. At Comius Pontifical University, scientists are testing all kinds of materials to their limit to see if they can withstand the oscillation, including this carbon fiber rod. We're pulling the sample so basically what we check in is how much does the material stand the force we're applying. The whole material, the polymeric matrix, as well as the fibers, are stretching till some point. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it did break. Yes. Did it break? <laughs> it broke. It broke. <laughs> <laughs> it's failed. <laughs> <laughs> ah. At least, we know the limit. It's very strong. And very, very strong. Uh, flexible, as in it can survive mm -hmm. the oscillation. It is much more strong than uh, uh, what is needed for the application. Okay. One day, this technology will help us move the wind farm into the city, occupying your roof or balcony.